Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Veronica. I'll be your host for today. So, welcome to the Kaohsiung Future Online Seminar. Um, today, we're going to talk about what the Kaohsiung Food Show Seminar has, Food Show has in store this coming October. Uh, uh, for our friends joining us on Zoom and on Facebook Live, we're glad you could join us. Now, before we begin, there are just a few reminders so we can enjoy the best webinar experience. So, number one, please find the chat box for reminders and advisories from our showrunners. Number two, also feel free to chime in in the discussion in the chat box. Number three, for the Q&A, drop your questions in the Q&A box, uh, not in the chat box. Number four, Facebook Live viewers may type in their questions in the comment section of our live video. At this time, I would like to invite the Director of Taiwan Trade Center, Manila, Mr. Clement Tan, to give the opening remarks. Maganda umaga. A very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clement. On behalf of our headquarters, Taiwan External Trade Development Council, also named Taitra, and our, of, our office, Taiwan Trade Center in Manila. I would like to thank you for participating in today's event. How are you doing there? I hope the typhoon Dante didn't bring you much of the trouble, rain or wind there. Well, over the years, Taiwanese food manufacturers has tried their efforts to bring up their best products. Uh, domestically or to the global buyers and the customers. What are the global trends right now? Uh, maybe you, some of you already know, but here I would like to share three keywords to the current the global trend of uh, food. This is also the goal that the uh, Taiwanese manufacturing are now working on. There's uh, three uh, trends. The first trend will be, the keyword is uh, plant-based. Uh, according to a global survey, uh, now every year, uh, plant-based products uh, in annually grow to 10 to 20% per year. So those uh, plant-based products, they're going to substitute the meat uh, consumption. Uh, i give you some example. For example, in Taiwan now, if you go to the Starbucks, uh, you could order uh, the milk, plant-based. You could order the toast, plant-based. And uh, in Family Mart, uh, the convenience store, we also have the Family Mart here, uh, they actually provide uh, uh, food blends like uh, spaghetti, spaghetti or the hamburger, those kind. And even the local manufacturer uh, provide uh, the brand of uh, Neo Foods, that's uh, uh, including some like a burger meat, uh, like a steak, uh, or like a, a shredded meat, those kind of products. Very interesting, right? Okay. The second trend keyword is uh, sustain sustainability. Uh, according to our survey, around 65% of the global consumers, when they purchase a product, they will think if this is environmental friendly or not, including the packaging, uh, including the ingredients in the food. Uh, so now customers and the consumers are more aware of what are we are eating. So if you ever visit uh, uh, in Taiwan, in a supermarket, you could find many of the fruits uh, they have uh, printed uh, the source of the food, the fruit. For example, Gucci farm produce it, they sometimes even have the photos uh, of these uh, farmers on your, on your package. And uh, all the ingredients are stated uh, very clearly, how much sugar you are going to take, those kind. And uh, now, uh, Taiwan also adapt a uh, clean label. Oh, this is uh, originate from England, clean label. Uh, as far as I know, in the family mart, they already have uh, 500 products that already has the certification. The third keyword is, of course, you want to guess, is the pandemic, of course. Okay, so under the pandemic, under the quarantine, now we also see some trends of the, uh, some products now in highly demand. 
The first kind of product would be frozen food. So because now we are all under quarantine, we stay home, we go to the, the market, uh, not as often as possible. So we try to buy uh, more products, more food at one time. So frozen food now become uh, very popular. Uh, as now some of the country already give up the restriction uh, or the lock, lockdown. But because of the train of uh, work from home, actually we are still seeing that some of the people who stay home we just prefer using the frozen food for ready to meet uh, food and uh, just maybe put in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Then you have the uh, hot and the fresh meal. So our uh, food manufacturers now are focusing on how to produce uh, uh, the food just like you freshly cooked. Okay, we well, could see now even a, a very, very fine dining restaurant and uh, some uh, central kitchen, which previously provided food to the airline company. So they are all focusing on producing those kind of food. And uh, in this uh, quarantine category, another kind of a product is the uh, probiotics and the related products. Oh, these are kind of products that help people to enhance your immunity to the, to, to the COVID-19, okay? And the third category, I probably, you also know, that's the snacks. Have you noticed that you consume more snacks recently? Well, at least I do. Well, I think it's also a picking up a market. So these are three, three kind of a category that uh, we see that the Taiwanese companies, now they are focusing on producing those related uh, products. Uh, so they are very interesting. So I hope the Kaohsiung Food Show, you could join us and find some more interesting, more innovative, more fresh uh, products uh, in this event. I see you there, okay? Maganda uh, umaga. Sorry. Malami uh, salamat. Thank you so much, Director Chen. And now I'd like to welcome our colleague in charge of the Taiwan Trade Shows, Ms. Nea Medina, to share some insight about the Kaohsiung Food Show and industry. Held in conjunction with Kaohsiung Horeca and Kaohsiung Halal once again this year, the Kaohsiung Food Show is the most internationalized event of its kind, meant for professionals in Southern Taiwan. The Kaohsiung Food Show brings together seasonal local farm and fishery products and a wide variety of exotic delicacies. Under the spotlight are the fortes of Taiwan's food products that are displayed both physically and virtually. Indeed, the show makes the best platform for keeping up and developing networks for trading food products.我们有带来很多高雄很有特色的农产品很多贸易商跟一些采购包括是日本的香港的来看我们的商品那甚至会看我们还有哪些新产品的开发今年的人潮其实相对起来比去年还要来得多其实我们有遇到很多就是比较大型饭店或是同路端来跟我们询问有关于经过我们认验证的产品或是我们检验合格的产品To bypass the space limitation caused by the ongoing pandemic, the first day of the show was designated an online food procurement day for Kaohsiung's farm and food products. Video conferencing was organized to help local companies build partnerships with major overseas food wholesalers. 今年来讲，外贸协会规划了一个线上的一个媒合活动。我们非常多的厂商都跟国外的厂商进行了非常多的对谈跟交流。主办单位都有对国外买家采取线上那个展会方法跟活动，所以我我觉得这次可以帮助
product launch shows give local companies an opportunity to build up their brand names. As such, the show made a perfect channel for domestic and foreign food-related businesses to find partners and conduct exchanges. 就第一次的新品发表，那其实我们昨天就收到很好的效果了，所以展示对我来说是一个非常好利用的一个场所。我觉得我是收获满满的，我得到的回应是很好的。展场对我们的帮助很多。昨天展场第一天的时候，新加坡也好，香港也好，哦，甚至海外的海外的他们都有过来跟我们做接洽。一些美国的客户啦。还有这个像越南的客户、东南亚的客户来参访，包括这几天在舞台的部分，提供给我们这么好的一个平台，好，那我们把台湾当成主要的舞台来推广。The Gaosheng Food Show looks forward to seeing you again in 2021. Hi everyone, I'm Nea Medina, and I will present about the Kaohsiung Food Show. Here are some details. The Kaohsiung Food Show, together with Kaohsiung Hareka, will happen this October 28 to October 31 at the Kaohsiung Exhibition Center. Mark your calendars, for there are a wide variety of food products presented at the event. From fresh fruits, agricultural products, meat, dairy, fish products, condiments, frozen prepared products, dehydrated food, coffee, tea, wine and spirits, beverages, confections, cookies, health foods, and leisure foods. Since you have seen the video of the past food show earlier, here are some pics of the event. For more information about the Taiwan food industry, here is a chart of their exports. As you can see, a lot of the exports are frozen seafood. Prepared food, beverages, and processed food from 7,000 factories at present. Also from these 7,000 factories are plant-based meat and organic vegetables, which are gaining a lot of attention lately in the markets all around the world. Taiwan is the second in Asia to be declared. As food and mouth disease free zone by World Organization for Animal Health as of June 16, 2020. Food products are produced by SMEs, but most of the output is by big companies. Aside from this, the total export value of agricultural products in 2020 is 4.5 billion US dollars. To give a brief background, the export value's biggest amount is from the fisheries sector, amounting to 1.4 billion US dollars, followed by non-alcoholic beverages like juice, tea, coffee, tapioca balls, or our milk tea, of course. <laughs> Basically, these details in the Taiwan food industry show the wide variety of food products I have mentioned. That you get to experience once you visit Kaohsiung Food Show. Now, we are proud to tell everyone that this year, 2021, Kaohsiung Food Show goes virtual by giving the participants an online access to the exhibitions, where they can browse and tour through the specialized website shown on your screen right now. They can browse the products. Know more about exhibitors by scheduling online meetings with them via TPS Match, and watch live streams, making this an exciting opportunity to encourage more people to join the event.
please take note that this will run from October 28th to November 25th. You can check the virtual food show site via the link we'll send in the chat box. This website will be updated before the virtual show dates, of course. They will also have an English version for the updated site. Or you can also check their Facebook page. Link will also be sent to the chat box. During the 14th Kaohsiung Food Show, we were able to have 232 exhibitors and 340 booths. Aside from that, during the 6th Kaohsiung Horeca, we were able to have 54 exhibitors and 96 booths. Our data for the visitors before was 60 for international and 18,708 for domestic, gathering a total of 18,768 visitors for the 2020 food show. Here's a chart for you to visualize. So, if you want to join as a participant, you can register via Taiwan Trade Center Manila. Don't worry, we will send you the invitation through email by kindly filling up the form. Or, you can join by taiwantrade.com. The links will be sent by a chat box. If you want to be an exhibitor, the application kit is readily available in the Kaohsiung Food Show website or we can also send you the application kit via email. The website will be sent via chat box for your reference. Now, I would like to welcome you to some of the tourist spots in Kaohsiung to enhance your travel experience. These are brought to you by the Kaohsiung Travel website. First is the Paolai Flower Park in Hot Springs. Paolai is Kaohsiung's famous hot spring town. Its spring water can go up to 52 degrees Celsius. It has no color, no odor, and feels mild. It softens one's skin, making the skin silky. People call it beautifying hot springs. This is the place to be if you want to relax and you're a fan of hot springs. I want to try it as well. If you want to visit memorials and galleries, you have to go to Foguangshan Buddha Memorial Center. It has the world's largest sitting Buddha and visitors can view the bones of the Buddha, relics, and Buddhist antiquities in the underground palace. Within the compound, there are art galleries, a theatrical auditorium, a children gallery, and souvenir stores. This place has received several accolades including recognition by International Council of Museums and the 2014 Certificate of Excellence by TripAdvisor as the top ranking attraction in Kaohsiung. Better not miss this! For shopping in Kaohsiung, one of the places you can visit is Dream Mall, the largest shopping center in Taiwan with a Ferris wheel, also known as Kaohsiung Eye, that oversees the fourth city. It is also a good it, also, it is also good to try different food in Kaohsiung by exploring their night markets like the Reifong Night Market. This is located near Kaohsiung Arena Shopping District, has more than a thousand stalls and receives a huge crowd every evening. Be it traditional taste that lasts for decades, foreign snacks, creative dishes, or photo-worthy food and beverages, Reifong Night Market has them all. Before the last attraction, Another night market is located in Liuhe, 
The Ojo Second Road is a major road in, in the day that transforms into a pedestrian precinct in the evening. It is brightly lit and the stalls are orderly arranged. The short street is filled with seafood delicacies that you must not miss including seafood congee, steam salt prawn, and mullet gizzard. Better not miss the night markets in Taiwan, they're the best! With knowing these places, I hope you can enjoy more during your visit. We want to inform you regarding traveling to Taiwan, so these are updated travel restrictions from May 19 to June 18 due to the pandemic. Foreign non-ARC resident certificate holder nationals aren't allowed to enter Taiwan without entry permission for emergency or humanitarian reasons. We will send you updated information from time to time since travel restrictions may vary depending on the situation. You can also check the website sent by a chat box regularly for updates. That's all! I hope you had a glimpse of the many opportunities you can have in the food industry by joining our event. You can contact me and Kaohsiung Food Show Manager, Ms. Alana Chen, via email for inquiries about the show. You can also send me inquiries about other trade shows as well. Since schedules might change due to the pandemic, but we will keep you posted. Don't worry. Again, this is Naya Medina and thank you everyone and please stay safe. Thank you so much, Ms. Naya, for giving us some solid inputs on the Kaohsiung Food Show, the tourist spots, and the industry. But now it's time for our guests to ask their questions directly to our speakers. So because of the volume of questions coming in, we're going to try to accommodate as many as we can with the time that we have. Let's hear from our audience members now. Um, but don't forget, if you're going to type your questions, do it in the do it in the in the Q and A box located in the lower part of your Zoom screen. We'll also try to accommodate questions from our friends watching through Facebook. So our first question is from Mr. A J Benoza. Are there any qualifications or guidelines in joining as an exhibitor? Yes. Uh, thank you very much for the question, Mr. A J. Uh, the qualifications for being an exhibitor for Kaohsiung Food Show is seen in the application. You can see the exhibit category there. Uh, usually, the exhibitors in Kaohsiung Food Show uh, carry food products such as additives, bakery products, beverages, canned food, uh, actually related to food uh, products. It's usually the uh, exhibitors in Kaohsiung Food Show. So if you, you carry those products, uh, you can apply for an, as an exhibitor for Kaohsiung Food Show. Thank you. Okay. So um, I hope that answered your question, Mr. AJ. Next is from Miss Shane Galicia. Is the Kaohsiung Food Show an event done yearly? And what makes Kaohsiung the best city to conduct this event? Uh, yes, uh, thank you for the question, uh, Mr. Shan. Uh, well, the Kaohsiung Food Show uh, hold uh, every every year, and uh, uh, its location is on the southern part of Taiwan. Uh, you probably know that uh, uh, Taipei on the north side. So the Kaohsiung city is uh, much closer to those uh, food manufacturers, all the factories, and including all those uh, farms. Uh, and uh, all the other, uh, 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 like a uh, uh, fishery uh, or like a uh, seaport. So, uh, logically, it's uh, more convenient for those uh, exhibitors from those uh, entities to participate, to present their product in the Kaohsiung Food Show. And uh, for some companies, they will uh, choose the Kaohsiung to present their products. And uh, not, not, not necessary, they will just uh, open to the very, uh, they have a very wide uh, supply of the product. So you may find that some very niche product from uh, each manufacturers. So if you are a frequent uh, visitor of a Taipei food show, you could also consider going to Kaohsiung, that's a full change. 
and uh, you may find very low quality uh, products there. So thank you for your question. All right, thank you, Director Chen. Next is from Ms. Angelina Basilio. Where can we check the list of accreditors? Yes, thank you very much for the question, Ms. Angelina. Uh, you can see the list of exhibitors in the Kaohsiung Food Show website, but we will still update, our head office will still update the list of, of exhibitors through time. You can just check it uh, from time to time. And we will also update our invitation for the Kaohsiung Food Show to send you the link of the exhibitors. Thank you. All right, so if you want to see the exhibitors, you can just check the website. We can also send them to you. All right, thank you, Ms. Nea. Um, next is from Ms. Sophia Balingit. How was the food industry affected by the recent COVID-19 spike in Taiwan? Okay. Okay, <laughs> Ms. Uh, yes, uh, Ms. Sophia, thank you for asking this question. I would like to raise it up earlier, but uh, didn't have much time. Well, so far, as you're probably aware from the news that uh, uh, after a whole year, last year, uh, the uh, virus was uh, very well under control last year in Taiwan. But uh, this year started from last month, that there were some uh, positive cases. And it seemed that the, the virus also spread out in some area, uh, especially in Taipei. Uh, but so far, the government uh, announced the category quarantine, which uh, only uh, uh, suggest that the people stay home. It's not not really a total lockdown. Uh, people are still uh, could go to go 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 out and buy grocery as usual. And uh, if they have uh, some certain errand, they really have to go. They they still could go. So except for the uh, in the school, now all the students are uh, study at home and uh, have the education online. Uh, other than that, all the company, most of some of the companies are adopt the policy of work from home. Uh, only remain uh, the necessary manpower in the office. Uh, from the factory side, most of the factory are still re re uh, remain uh, the normal uh, operation. This is uh, so far I can learn. And uh, yesterday was around uh, 500 positive cases yesterday. So uh, I think uh, the Taiwanese government now is uh, trying to do every effort like the Philippines to buy, to obtain the vaccine as soon as possible. I think that this uh, will, uh, after uh, the vaccination, this uh, will, will gradually under control. Well, thank you for your concern. Let's all stay safe. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Director Chen for that. Um, we have a question from uh, Anonymous. What is the difference between the on-site exhibit and the virtual exhibit? Yes, uh, the on-site exhibit, of course, uh, you will see the uh, booth face-to-face -face with the exhibitors. You can talk to them face-to-face. -face. But uh, the, virtual ex the virtual exhibition is for the people who can go to Taiwan since we have this pandemic and uh, our head office would like to uh, share uh, to the buyers the exhibition as well through online. So that's the difference. And uh, of course, in the online exhibition, you can also talk to the exhibitors via TTS match. So we have to schedule meetings with exhibitors and you have to meet them uh, through online meetings. But uh, in the on-site exhibition, you can talk to them face to face. Thank you. Okay, so um, thank you for that, Miss Nea. So as you can see, even if it's online, you still have all the opportunities that you can get when you go to Kaohsiung directly. So next is a question from Miss Maria Teresa. How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected the 2020, so last year's Kaohsiung Food Show? Uh, well, for the last year, uh, Kaohsiung Fu Show, uh, because uh, uh, by, that, by then, uh, the Taiwanese government already suspend all the entry from foreign buyers. Uh, uh, mainly, the visitors will come uh, domestically. Uh, so it was uh, still ongoing well in Taiwan. 
uh, as I was saying earlier, last year uh, Taiwan had a very good control. So that's as uh, far as uh, we we know about uh, uh, last year. But uh, this year, I think the situation might be slightly different. So uh, what uh, our colleague Naya just introduced, uh, this year, this will be outside and uh, virtually we're doing it both the way. This is also, need, uh, we need to fulfill the demand from the foreign buyers. So you could check it out online or the visit their other companies. And uh, if uh, there, you need any help, you can al al always uh, contact our office. And uh, if you are looking for some certain particular kind of a product, you are also welcome to contact us. Thank you. All right, thank you. And then we have a question here. Um, you mentioned frozen seafood is one of the top items of the show. Can you give an overview of what types of products are in this category? Yes. Uh, uh, also, uh, okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. As, as of now, the product list for the 2021 food show will still be updated, but uh, we can see in the website the product list are, are like uh, processed. Uh, frozen food like for example this one uh frozen squid nugget uh so I, I think we will still see a lot of those in the coming food show and director sorry <laughs> <laughs> well thank you okay i have nothing to add. okay <laughs> all right still be updated okay uh, next question here: Will there still be quarantine for visitors, or there is any? Are there any standard measures to be done, like if fully vaccinated? Are there any restrictions concerning vaccines? I guess. Uh, well, so far now the uh, the Taiwanese government still uh, 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 restrict all the entry, including issuing the visa and all the entry from foreign foreign countries. So, but uh, with this uh, situation <clears throat> continue till October, October, uh, I think uh, we will still uh, need need, uh, need to wait if uh, all those uh, measurement uh, may be changed in any time. So please uh, keep on uh, uh, contact with the office uh, or our office or any updated information from the official website of this uh, exhibition. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. So for any updates on the show um, and restrictions, you can um, contact our office, Taiwan Trade Center Manila. So uh, Naya showed her, Miss Naya showed her contact details earlier. So we'll flash those again or we'll send them to you later. Now, um, that's it for the questions. So uh, it, as we've been talking about, it's a pandemic. It's really hard to stay passionate and um, motivated during this time. but. We're so happy to hear from all of you here. Thank you so much for coming. We will also be sending a survey link in the chat box to hear your insights about the seminar. So we hope you can answer the link in your free time. For our speakers, say thank you so much for fueling our entrepreneurial drive for your time and for your effort today. It's not easy during this time, but thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, that is actually the end of our seminar. Thank you for coming. And um, thank you for ev everyone for joining us today. We'd also like to thank uh, some of our organizers here. So first is the Bureau of Foreign Trade, MOEA, for sponsoring Kaohsiung Food Show. Um, also to Taitra, of course. And of course, the Marine Bureau of Kaohsiung City Government for co-organizing. And again, we look forward to seeing you at the Kaohsiung Food Show. Uh, this coming October 28th to 31. And of course, if you're not able to travel to Taiwan, you can go to the virtual show, which will be held for longer, so October 28th to November 25th. And uh, lastly, please make sure you like and follow the Taiwan Trade Center Manila Facebook page. So we update that regularly. You can hear about our other shows even apart from the Kaohsiung Food Show. This is Veronica signing off. Thank you for coming today.